Hello and welcome to Boats and Engines. In this episode we're going to be looking at the aerodynamics on the Cybertruck, Cybertruck sorry, uh, Ford F-150 Raptor, that's 2016, and Dodge Ram 2018. Legal disclaimer, uh, Ford, pre please don't sue me, uh, Dodge, please don't sue me, and Elon Musk, uh, could you post a picture of my cat on Twitter please? Um, so first of all, the Cybertruck. Um, there's a much more in-depth analysis of that. If you want to know, just go and watch my other videos. It's on there. Um, all I'm going to say is at 60 miles an hour, which I'm testing all the cars at, that's 26.8 metres per second. It had a coefficient of drag of between 0.39 and 0.4, according to my software. So now we're moving on to the Dodge Ram. And you can see immediately there's quite a lot of separation um, after the bonnet and then a lot of turbulence um, around the bed. So just looking at the velocity of the air now. Uh, I should also mention I, I did run it with ISO surfaces to have a good look at the turbulence everywhere. When I try to screen record that and run it at the same time it crashes my computer. Um, I'm running this on a GTX 1080 graphics card, but still it's enough to crash it with the screen recording going. So it's it's not looking quite as good as the Cybertruck already. Uh, this is the only car I can find a claimed uh, coefficient of drag figure for, and it's claimed at 0.36, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that. It's, uh, it's very hard to find the actual manufacturer's... Um, specifications not just internet posts which obviously you can't really trust that's showing the pressure on the surface so um red end, red end of the spectrum high pressure blue end of the spectrum low pressure i should also mention that the models probably aren't 100 percent accurate uh, you can see on this there's no detail on the wheels but then subtle changes are probably going to make subtle difference to the actual results Another difference is um, none of the two two pickups I'm looking at have bed covers on them, which is going to probably have a negative effect on their coefficient figures. There again, showing the tubes, just showing the airflow with quite a lot of separation going on. I should also say that as, as these models don't have detail like the holes in the grill, that's going to affect it too. But in terms of just comparing the three pickups and uh, which is better than which, I think it's going to give a good idea. So now running the actual drag plot here and on the Dodge Ram it comes out at between 0.59 and 0.6. So claimed by manufacturer I think is 0.36 and this is around 0.59 or 0.6. So I think that shows that the software I'm running is giving very harsh results it could mean that the tesla cybertruck has a much better coefficient than 0.39 or 0.4 which is what i'm getting um, it could well be ridiculously good so now moving on to the f-150 again uh, a lot of separation after the bonnet between the bonnet and the windscreen just like the dodge um, a bit less turbulence around the bed area um, but not very different. I did run off, not recording, but ISO surfaces to look at the turbulence on all three models and they all get really bad turbulence around the wheel arches, but you, you just got to expect that because they are pickups with big gaping wheel arches, so it's going to happen. Nothing you can do about that. Um, for a pickup, yeah, it's pretty impressive, but now just showing a uh, plane with velocity and I think I'll show pressure in a second as well. So another thing I should mention is I know people have moaning, been moaning about not modelling the wheels turning and what that's doing. Um, if you want to get that complicated then you go ahead and model it yourself. I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so yeah, showing uh, pressure there and I think we'll switch to surface pressure in a second if we can. Yeah, so that's showing the surface pressure. Again, pretty similar to the Dodge, really. I mean, they're similar shapes, so 
subtle changes are going to give subtle differences really. The only thing that surprised me slightly was I'd expect to see more low pressure on the tailgate but that doesn't seem to happen. So I th- I think uh oh we'll let we'll run a um drag plot on this one as well and see what coefficient of drag we get to. Just showing the uh airflow with uh tubes again there. So yeah, starting with drag plot and we're stabilized and on the F one fifty and I couldn't this is an F one fifty Raptor two thousand and sixteen. I couldn't find the actual coefficient of drag figure but I seem to be getting between um, 0.56 and 0.57, which is just slightly better than the RAM. Uh, don't take my figures as gospel. The models aren't going to be perfect. My software is not going to be nearly as good as what the car manufacturers have, and uh, they're going to have it running on hundreds of GPUs and God knows what else. So, uh, so don't take my figures as gospel. All I can say is the Tesla is definitely much better than the other two. Uh, I'm not biased. I do love the Cybertruck, but that that's what I can tell you. The Tesla seems to be better. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. I do some pretty cool boat builds and other random stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.